they handle our terminal engineering. A lot of people, when they do terminals, they also want to include some spares. So I'll show you here within ePlan how I can actually create some spares. This is actually an existing terminal strip, ET1, EXE1, and I'm opening here the terminal strip navigator to actually find the ET1 location. X1 and I have a few terminals here that are of course placed all over the place in the schematics and so on on the uh, panel layout. Now my point is I would like to actually add a few of these terminals as spares. So technically if we go here to the edit we can see that we have a total of 16 terminals and a few grounds and I'd actually like to uh, add a few regular terminals. So all I do is I pick the regular terminal I have as a sample here, the number one. I say new functions and here I already get the full DT because I picked it out of the EX1, uh, ETX1. I already have the function definition because I picked the right sample terminal before I actually opened the new function and now I can actually type in the new value. So here it's interesting because you can go one terminal at a time or you can say I want terminal 20 to uh, 29, which will actually create 10 new terminals. I'll just go ahead, and you will see down in the list here, if we go down, we will see with a small picture in the front that is different from the uh, ones above, uh, that we added the terminal 20 to 29. Now, what I want to do also is I want to jumper the terminals 25 to 29. So technically, I can actually go here on 25, say the automatic jumper, I'm actually switching this to manual start of jumper. I'm going to go down to terminal 29. This one here, I'm going to make it a manual end of jumper. And if you don't do the next step, what's going to happen, I'll show you, is we will have a jumpered terminal or a jumper between terminal 25 and 29. Yet what I want to do is have 26, 27, and 28 also jumper. So what I do now is I pick the 26, 27, 28, right, mouse click properties, and specify that the saddle jumper should be the center of the jumper in this particular case here. Now when I've done this, I can go back here in the edit mode, and you will see down at the bottom here, you will see these 25, 26, 27, 20, they're all jumper together. And of course, whatever you did here, without even placing them on the schematics, will reflect on the report. So here, a report gets updated either automatically if your settings are done as such, or you have to run the update command. And you will see down at the bottom here, these are spare terminals. They just got added at the bottom here, and you have the jumper between 25 and 29. So this is how you can add an ePlan spare terminals, even terminals that are jumpered without having to go into your schematics. It's uh, considered the terminal engineering optimized function that we have here. Quite interesting.